Good afternoon, you have I was listening to William T. over there, and I was asking, what's your subject? I said, God. Oh, so you must interesting. <laughs> so please listen, this is a very short talk. Uh, it will have in the minutes, less than minutes. And this happened when I was 12 years old. I was 12 years old when I discovered why God had no end. I was then sixth in sixth grade in Catholic school where we were taught that God has no beginning and has no end. But there are believers with curious minds who sometimes wonder who created God. I was one. I was in grade four when I asked my mother who created God. Mother said, go play outside. As a student, still with her man, I was slowly spending more time thinking about God's mystery than the time I spent thinking about my first trust when I was in retreat. At grade five, I developed a habit of seeking solitude just to find out the mystery of hope or what great God. Then, hormones kick in. Because of red sticks, here is where this come down. Despite my first heartbeat over a given course, very strong young man, here is committed my idle time. I forgot about God's mystery and tried to understand which here she said, which I really more mystifying during the time. But one afternoon, after the rain, they notice a regular dripping of rainwater from our road. After a while, they notice that dripping were not regular at all. Also, that every drop were different from each other. No all things are the same. The sight is not this, or regular things. When I consider all the things around me and all the things out there, I realized the vibration of things is simply endless. Suddenly, I realized the implication of all this. Suddenly, I realized why God had no end. I was in a sudden realization that I stumbled on the answer of God's history. I was quiet for a long time after. And for two years, I was quiet with what I know. I wanted to ask to talk our record, but at my age then, I know that I cannot articulate the things I want to say. When I reached even year high school, I felt confident that I can express my thought with a given chance. That chance came when we have already read that year conducted by Jesus Christ from Neil. I was determined to seek a provision from the Jesuit Christ, but I was also intimidated at the same time, knowing that the whole school would be listening. When my chance came, I forced myself to raise my hand and ask the, and ask the priest. And the priest said, yes, it's not only for myself. So I asked my question. I said, Father, can God create everything? Of course, God can. Some classmates behind me explain the initial. What a stupid question to us in the matter. And the girls either. When everybody said to them, they embrace it. Of course, God can do it. I feel weak in my knees and not the praise and despair because this answer was not what I expected. I was tempted to just sit down to end the disappointment. But the prayer saying my unease decided to explain his answer. After a short explanation, he looked at me and said, Well, I wanted to say thank you, Father, and sit down to end your moment inside me. But instead I said, I don't think so, Father. I could feel that everyone in the phone room was shocked. The principal was really looking at me in anger. The praise was taken back. It is true. 
amused and decided to explain more. After this elaboration, he looked at me and for the second time, the priest said, well, and for the second time, I said, I have been to God. And his spirit was shocked along with everybody. They took a few steps toward me, towards me and said, and why? In that instant, I just wanted to disappear. I came and stayed for a confirmation, but instead I am about to debate the Christ. And just with that now. But I have lost my rope in turning back now. I said to myself. So I said, I believe, Father, God can create anything, but not everything. Because God, if God can create everything, God will stop being God. Because there is nothing more for God to create. This is contrary to God's nature. God is a creator and will not run out of things to create. For eternity, God cannot create everything because there is no such thing as. I could not finish my explanation because the principle and righteous anger was upon me right there and then suspended me for one week for my sacrilegious words and ordered me to speak the school basketball court and repeat the sun. I was totally related. I was not totally related, but I was spared the baby Jesus Christ because I was very disappointed that I was not given the chance to finish my answer. So I stopped sweeping the court, turned toward our school, and shouted what I was completely finished. There is no such thing as everything! There is no such thing as I think the problem of us human beings is that we define God in our own enemies. Without the hand of doubt, we limited God's creation only to the things we can observe with our limited entry and imperial senses. We are, from the very beginning, in Christian society. Not long ago, we declared that the earth is fun. Our self-importance with us to show that the sun revolved around our planet. It was a blow to our political people to know that it was the other way around. The series of scientific discoveries that put us in our place as just a small planet and a small solar system at the age of the huge galaxy of million stars we call Mercury. And shocking is still to know that our galaxy is just one of the countless galaxies in our universe and most of them are bigger than our Mercury. All of this did not change our original idea that we are the most precious of God's creation. We created a paradox that we pretend doesn't exist. We declare that God is a creator of all eternity, and yet we insist that God can create everything. Effectively putting an end to God's power to go on creating the whole time. We cannot have our cake. This concept of everything has no place in the face of God's awesome power to create all the Really, it's just a Whether you believe in God or not, whether there is God or there is no God at all, the stream that caused the existence of all this have the power to create other stupendous things beyond our imaginations. I think it is a good idea to stop being presumptuous like our followers because we, we have seen nothing yet. In the late nine days, I was part of the Biswat Art Congress in Japan, and the first one introduced himself to me after my lecture turned out to be a bishop of that area. He invited me to see his farm, which he planted with many trees. He gave me a quick tour of the city, training me with a snack, 
before proceeding to his part. Our conversation drifted from art and environment to the nature of Asia. I told him about my being suspended in high school for saying that God cannot create anything. The Asia looked at me and said, You know, Julie, that is now the thinking of the church. I was briefly and recently so proud. It takes the church almost 2,000 years to come in terms that God cannot create everything. Everything? There is no such thing. That's why God is in it. When the whole world is briefly the start of the new millennium, in the year 2000, which was actually the wrong year, I excitedly wait for the first light of the first day of the year 2000 to photograph it. Then suddenly I discovered why God has to have no But that's another story. Thank you.